What's up guys, Matacaster here, and today, again, obviously, we're in Gold Rush, and as you can see by my gold count, I've been pretty busy. Uh, been trying to get, really, I have, I've really had no reason to go into town to melt the gold that I have, so with this clean out, we've got another one about ready to clean out, I'm thinking we're going to get a thousand ounces, and I wanted you guys to be here to see that, uh, if I do. So, to get to a thousand ounces, I have dug this hole. I've dug this hole, I've dug this hole, and lost some buckets in the process, and I'm currently working on this hole. One thing I found out that was kind of nice is uh, if you go to the gold map, you can click these little squares. I don't know why it's suddenly changed to this. It's showing, it used to just show the gold pockets, but now for some reason it's gone to, and if you click on any one of these little squares, it'll show you areas where there's like no gold so i don't know if it's a glitch if they're working on it or whatever but if you you know click on the square and then hit toggle square down here uh, obviously you can see there that the gold is you know about halfway up and it'll put a little square around the area that you're working you can kind of see it drooping there but we'll go we'll go over there and so yeah there's a little square so you know exactly where you're working so you can kind of see this has been dug out dug out in little squares Something you guys probably knew, but I was not aware of until I discovered it. So yeah, we've been working those squares uh, with the good gold, and I think we got really good gold, and I think this clean out is going to be the clean out that's going to get us a thousand ounces, and then we're going to sell that thousand ounces and see how much money we get. I mean, I guess it's an easy equation. You figure what gold goes for somewhere around uh, $1,100 to $1,200 per ounce. So I think this is going to make us a millionaire. One thing I've done off camera, besides digging a metric buttload of uh, <laughs> dirt, is uh, I did buy the claim. I was I was sick of paying old man Arnold his cut because we were getting more and more gold and the cut was becoming bigger and bigger. I guess I could actually start pulling pulling the mats out and everything while I'm talking to you guys. And it just didn't make sense to me. I was like, we're giving him so much money uh, that it just, it didn't add up. So yeah, I bought the claim. I took out a small loan. So we do have a loan out that we're going to pay back. But I think this clean out is going to be a clean out that will pay off that loan and will be free and clear. This will be our, did that? There we go. This will be our own claim. It'll be ours. Nobody can say nothing about it. And that's a good thing. That's a good feeling, you know? So I'm going to start washing out these mats here. Start here, I guess, with the uh, hog pan mat. And then I'll see you guys once these are all cleaned out, unless I feel like I have something to say in the meantime. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Oh, one thing I wanted to address is that I have been made aware of a money hack. Apparently there's a money hack or a money glitch of some sort in Gold Rush, and I'm not interested in any of that. I think the the true fun of this game and the enjoyment is the grinding, is getting there. I mean, if it's kind of like, you guys remember that game, The Sims? There, there was a, a cheat code uh, for The Sims. I, I, I played The Sims a ton, and there was a cheat code for The Sims that gave you a whole bunch of money, and I used it. I mean, we're talking, we're talking 11 years ago, uh, if not longer. Um, and I used it, and the game just wasn't fun anymore. You weren't, you know, working for something. You weren't making something happen. So I, since that day, I don't use those things. I don't like them. It takes the enjoyment out of the game, if you ask me. Now, I'm pretty confident that this clean-out is going to get us over a thousand ounces because we were on good gold the the nice thing about that little square that you know you can that shows you where you dig uh that square shows you when you're on the gold and when you're off the gold i wish i would have known about it sooner and and if i did my due diligence i would have already known about it but i didn't so the downside oh actually i want to go down here connect this hose from this hog pan over to the table and this is i keep getting the hose that just yeah, it does that, and it bounces back. Sometimes it goes under the, under the hog pan. I have to take everything apart. But, uh, yeah, if I did my due diligence and would have known about that, then that would have made life a little easier. But 
it's also kind of fun to figure these things out on your own, I suppose. We'll fire up the uh, water pump. We'll get this stuff cleaned out. I am ecstatic to see what we can get as far as money goes for 1,000 ounces. And I'm guessing we might go over it. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see. It depends on how good a gold we were on. But now that I've found that little square thing, nice thing is, is it tells me how good a gold I'm on. I'm going to pull from the duplex jigs first because I found that they don't collect as much gold as the buckets with the uh, miner's moss cleanouts in them. So here we go. We're at 800 and now 70 ounces of gold. Which that just blows my mind. You know, you think back to when you start this game. You know, a couple ounces is a big deal. And what I'd like to be able to do is to go get the uh, the fuel container that we can have here on site. Because it's 900 ounces of gold. Yeah, I think we're going to make it. Um, to, because driving back and forth with the trailer and everything. Going to get gas all the time. To fill all these pieces of equipment. It's getting old. It's getting real old. 94750 oh man there is so much gold in these mats it's unbelievable 972 980 oh are we going to get there on this first mat bucket oh 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 1000 ounces of gold and we still have four buckets of mat material to go Unbelievable. This is, you know, by far the biggest amount of gold I've had on hand. Um, I wish I could say it was out of one clean out, but this has been, I probably ran three clean outs to get here. Let's get ready with this next bucket. <laughs> 1,020, which is, is nice because it's going to cover the, uh, you know, you're going to lose a little bit of gold in the smelting process. So it'll be cool to see what a thousand ounce bar looks like, uh, at least at this point, at least a thousand ounce bar. What I'm going to do here is go ahead and fill these buckets, get them ready for the next clean out. We are approaching, that was our last and final bucket, and we've got 1,179.157 ounces of gold. That's a lot, that's by far the biggest amount of gold on hand that I have yet to have. So we'll get these buckets filled and then I think we're gonna go to town and we're gonna buy some stuff. Oh, see, they, they keep dropping like that. It drives me crazy. Get the hose off the wave table now. Get back over here. Without it seeing, they just, it just drops. It's not so bad when it does it like that, but when it when the end of it falls under there and you gotta pull this whole thing apart, it must be a glitch or something. I, I don't know. Drives me crazy when it happens, though. Okay, that's all connected and put back together. We can shut this thing off. Of course, I, I guess I could shut it off from up there, but... Either way, we'll shut off the uh, water pump and the wave table. And we're, I think we'll be good to go to head into town. And I know I for sure want the uh, gas thing. The You'll see when I get there. I'll explain it. Unless you already know about it, then you already know. But I, I feel like I need that because I keep running into town for gas. Where's my truck? Oh, it's right there. All right. So I will see you guys in town. Tokyo Drift failed. All right. Time to see what 1,179 ounces because we're going to lose gold losses is what they can't. He can't smelt over... Are you serious? So we're not going to get a 1,000 ounce bar. I guess that makes sense. You know, they got the only a certain size die or whatever to make the gold bars. All right, we'll take it. Melt the gold. That is a huge gold bar. And we're going to... That is massive. This is like the size of a loaf of bread. <laughs> Unbelievable. We'll go go melt the rest of it. And we'll do a size comparison. That's what we'll do. Uh, the rest of it is almost 200 ounces. Go ahead and melt that. Let's do a size comparison between the two here. Drop it. Look at that. <laughs> that is a huge 
Bar of gold. Wow. Hopefully gold stocks are, are up and we can capitalize on this. That thing is just massive. <laughs> that thing is unbelievable. That's cool to see, though, that the bars are bigger with the more gold. Oh, that is so cool. Um, we don't really need fuel, so this will be our, our stop here. Um, like I was saying, I did buy the claim. It wasn't anything exciting. You just go in here to uh, parcels, and then you just click buy. That's all I did. It, it wasn't an exciting you know, It felt good for me because I don't have to pay old man Arnold anymore. So let's see what the stock is at. It's actually pretty high compared to what it's been lately. So this is this works out great. Sell gold bars. <laughs> Look at this. Sell both. Can we select both? Nope. We'll select the little one first. Sell. Big one. Sell. Look at that. We're officially millionaires. That is... Wow. That is awesome. So now we can pretty much afford to... Do, well, actually, let's take a peek and see what the next parcel, just so we know what we're shooting for. Get an idea of what the, uh, the prices are. So the next parcel is Rivertown. To buy out, uh, I can already afford that. That's crazy. But you're going to have to pay a lot of money to transfer everything over there. So I don't want to give up on... I mean, I already bought the claim. Might as well just get all the gold we can out of it and then and then move on from there but it is exciting to me because like i said i've done so much digging off off camera that i'm just i don't know a little just tired of staring at the same scenery over it'll be exciting to oh we gotta stop here it'll be exciting to uh see something different i'm gonna shut the engine off because i think i'm gonna be here for a little bit just trying to price everything out get a good idea oh I wanted to pay off a bank loan. I do have a bank loan. Let's go pay that off. Okay, I have a loan of... How much? Yeah, that's not even... Uh, $300,000. <laughs> and my, for me, that's a lot of money. But uh, in this world, it's not too much. So now we are free and clear, debt-free, officially millionaires. Uh, you like how I just parked my truck in the middle of the street? See, there's like this nicer trommel. There's... Uh, I don't even know what this is. A planter? I don't know what that does. A D-rocker? I'm guessing that has something to do with the rocks. Again, I'm not sure. We already own that, but I don't know what this is. This is a Glacier Creek. Is that a shaker? Is that kind of what that is, but just a fancier version? I don't know. If you guys know, put it in the comments, because I'm too lazy to look it up. Uh, we already own this guy. But I'm guessing this guy's better. Or does it mean you get more gold? Not sure. It would be kind of neat to have a, a bulldozer. We already have the front end loader. We already have the big excavator, obviously. But then that thing's cool. Because then I can just send the, the pay out to the conveyor. But I, I, I don't know. I think... Let's just focus on... I just... I need fuel. I need, I'm tired of running this town to get fuel. And that's only $26,000. Or 27, if you round up. Let's go ahead and order that. Go over here, pay for it, and then get it delivered. And I think that's all I really need. And then I think with this thing, from what I've heard, is the fuel gets delivered to you, which is fantastic. Order. Yep, yep, I get that. Um, and, th and then you don't really, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to run into town 100 times with... Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, transport costs two thousand dollars. I'll take it. I need that thing. That thing will be fantastic because I I won't have to make the back and forth trips constantly. All right, I think that's all we need for right now. All of that. We're millionaires. <laughs> I'm a millionaire now. So it's tempting, but you know, there's a lot of things that got to get taken care of. A lot of things that got to get done. What is this thing? A gravel pump. I don't know where this stuff goes or what it does, guys. I really don't. If I paid more attention to the gold tube, which the problem for me, the gold tube is kind of out of date. And it, it's not telling me 100% accurate information. But you would think gravel pump. It looks. It kind of looks like the duplex jig with those two pumps there. Yeah, like right here. Do you put this in place of the duplex jig and then it does better job? I don't know. 
you know what? Let's buy the better Trommel. We got the money. Uh, I still want to know what these things are over here, but I'm kind of tempted just to buy them and then figure it out. Because it's got to be better. I think that's some sort of... They kind of look... I don't know. Man, I don't know. I don't know. And if this replaces... If this replaces the duplex jig, which it kind of looks like it does, that, I mean, we can... Uh, and then this. What is this? I should probably do my homework on this and figure it out. How about we do that? Okay, there is nothing in the journal that speaks to any of that equipment. Even though it was DLC and I paid good money for it, there is no way to know what it does. So that's that's a little concerning or confusing. I, I don't get it. You know, it's DLC. I, it's weird. Uh, maybe it's on the dig tube. Let's see. Gold mining. Tier 4. Okay, conveyor belt. We have tier 4. Buying and transport. Okay, this tells us. Oh, we already got that. Okay, so watching the dig tube thing. Yes, this replaces the uh, the duplex jig. So we need... Let's, let's go ahead and buy this stuff. Two of those. And then this thing... I'm still not... 100% sure, but I saw it in there. Might as well buy it and see where it goes. We'll see. This thing does replace the shaker, so we'll grab that. And then, or I think it, wait. Do you, I don't know what it does, because this was the thing I saw. I just saw yellow and was like, okay, I need it. Let's buy that. If anything, we'll just sell off what we don't need. You know? Uh, we already bought that. We already got the fuel tank. Think that's all we need. And then one of these days we'll come back for this bad boy. We just don't really need it right now. I'm just not not in the need for it. But I think think that's everything. All right, six hundred sixty nine thousand three hundred dollars. Am I still sure that I need a gravel pump? Or no, gravel pump. We do need that uh, planter. What is the planter? Okay, let me check what that is. Just to be sure. First, let's go see how much it was. It just showed me, but I wasn't paying attention. The thing is $80,000. Yeah, hold on. I'm going to check out what that is. Because it didn't show me in the dig tube. Okay, from my Googling, I found out that this thing is not... Basically, these three things kind of do the same thing. They take up the same spot. This thing is kind of the middle of the road, and this is the, the high ground here. So we've already got two of those, so we don't even need this thing. So I'm not going to worry about this guy. Uh, what I wonder, though, is what kind of plug this thing takes, because we only have, I, I think we're out of the the big uh, electrical lines. Does it show? You would think it would. If anything, we just run back in town and grab more. I think it, I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, we can get rid of that guy. Okay, well, it still comes to almost $600,000, so whatever. We'll get it. And now we'll see what our our transport fees are going to be. So, reinforced trommel, gravel pump, gravel pump, D-Rocker, and the Glacier Creek. $7,500. Not too bad. I'll take it. So, we have a lot of work to do. we got to disassemble. the Yeah, the truck's backwards now because I came back. I was like, I need to buy that stuff. If, you know, I got the money, might as well buy the stuff. But we're now down to $439,000. We're no longer a millionaire. Look at all our new toys. Oh, this is going to be awesome. As soon as I figure out where they go. I can't tell you how good it feels to be to, to, to know that I own this land and I am 100% debt free. First things first, I think I'm going to go over here and order the gas because it doesn't get delivered until late and it's already what 1903 that's like 10 something yeah i'm not good with military time we'll go ahead and order the fuel for this thing uh however you do that there's the nozzle oh eat there we go be twenty thousand dollars to fill this thing up we're gonna use it so yeah it'll be delivered at midnight so we're getting close and if you're wondering why it's still so light out at, 
it, this late of time. It's Alaska. That's, a, that's the way Alaska works. We've got to go way over here, get our excavator to move this stuff into place. And I know I can just, you know, immediately jump into this stuff with the, the bumpers on the controller, uh, which I use. I use half controller, half keyboard when I'm in the vehicles. I use controller. And then when uh, I'm outside of it, I use the keyboard. But yeah, I know there's a way to just immediately jump in, but I don't, I don't use it. I hope your week is going awesome. So far, mine is going great. Hung out with the family all, all weekend and then basically just kind of bummed around all day Sunday. Watch the NASCAR race. That was about the extent of it. Man, this thing goes slow. You really feel it on that when <laughs> you've got to get somewhere. But uh, yeah, I hope it's going great for you. Going So far, so good for me. If this was anything like setting it up, this is going to take forever. And I'm stuck. I cannot get out. Completely stuck. And the excavator is rolling away. Oh, it stopped. Yeah, I can't get out. So I'm going to have to use the bumper. There we go. Now, the tricky part is to get a hold of... Okay, so we got that one, which will go over here to there. Rope is too short. Get in here and lower it down a little bit. Okay, we got this one, which will go here. Then we got this guy, which will go here. Perfect. So long as we can not get stuck. All right. Now we... Now nah, we're st got out of it. All right. Where are the hooks? That's a big question. Oh, they're in here. All right. Oh, damn. It. Stuck again. Completely stuck. Can't get out. I got to reset. What has me wondering is why with so many glitches in this game like that, are they already releasing DLC? Well, you want me to pay more for a game that... Uh, and we're... St yep. Stuck again. Can't get out. I mean, I like the game and all. That's obvious. I play it a lot, but I'm just surprised that with the game is glitched. There we go. We got in. A uh, game as glitchy as this one can be. Would you release DLC? And then expect everybody to just pay for it. And we cannot get the... There we go. And can we... Okay, apparently it hooked up. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Oh, I can't get out. There we go. All right. Okay, apparently it says the rope broke. So now we got to do it again. I guess I got to disconnect all of them to be able to reach. Well, maybe I can get a little enough. I don't know why the rope broke. Didn't pull on it hard, but it did. I was seeing there was a glitch also that you can break the rope by pulling it. Like not even in, not in equipment at all. Just pulling it while you're walking, which that doesn't make any sense. And again, they're selling DLC. Okay, apparently they're breaking again. So broke two ropes. Apparently I have to run into town to get more. So I don't know. I, I guess I got to pull the conveyor out. The hopper and the conveyor. Who knows? And the truck is gone. Completely gone. And now it's saving. So now I'm very confused. Where did it go? Oh, it's right there. But in reality, obviously, I can't complain too much because I love this game and completely addicted to it so not complaining just uh, making a point stuck again have to reset again and the rope apparently broke for no reason it wasn't even connected to anything that's new Yep, two broke, and we're not connected. Okay. Slowly move it up. 
Oh, snap cables again. And there they go. They just start snapping. I don't know why they're doing that, but they're doing it. So my guess is we're going to take this thing apart piece by piece and get the hopper out of the way and get the uh, conveyor out of the way. Then maybe we can get to the shaker. It'd be one thing if they told you about it in the dig tube or in the manual or anything, but they don't. But yeah, I mean, I'd hate for you guys to, you know, buy a game that I'm having a ton of fun with or whatever, you know, and then have all these glitches and that I didn't mention. So I feel I at least need to mention them. It's still a fun game, but... And there's one... You know, there's something to be said about glitches. That's going to happen with any early access game. That's just an understanding. That's how they learn. But when they start selling DLC before they fix the glitches, that... I don't know. Seems weird to me. Okay, so now there should be no reason we can't get this shaker out. Unless maybe we need to move this sluice. Let's do that just, just to be safe. They're easy to move. Fantastic. All right. So, hopefully, now, we can move the shaker. Be easy as I can. Trying to be easy. I don't want to... And there they all go. All right. Well, good news. After, oh, that had to be an hour of pulling and breaking and snapping cables, uh, I got the D-Rocker in. I found out that the other big yellow thing I bought was just a, another wash plant, and this one is supposed to be better than that one, so I just sold it. If that's not true, let me know in the comments. But from what I Googled, this D-Rocker is what I want because it apparently washes the boulders, and the old one didn't. I don't know. Anyways, we got it in after a lot, a lot of trial and error. So that's good. Got it hooked up. Got the trommel. Got everything going. Ran some test dirt through it, and it is catching gold. So that's a good thing. I tell you, it feels really good to get back to mining again. That took way too long to update to tier 5 mining, but I'm glad we did it. I'm glad it's out of the way, and now we can just... I mean, pretty much that's all the upgrades, and we're, we can just clean out this whole claim here and just cash in. All right, now let's fire this plant up. I actually haven't run any dirt with the new D-Rocker yet. I was using the old one, uh, just testing out the trommel and then the new little clean-out guys down there. So I have not fired up the D-Rocker yet. I have hooked it up. Let's see what she does. Gravel pump, that's the name of that thing I was trying to think of. And there's... Oh, I better <laughs> turn on the water. There we go. That is cool. Alright, let's put some dirt through it. Let's see what we're at as far as gold levels. 21% pretty much. Let's see what one dump truck load full the tier five will bring us up to get that in there all right let's go look go see it go through So what I was reading is that this is more efficient because it, it washes the boulders better and in turn yields more gold. Up to 23, 24, yeah this is definitely more efficient. We're getting gold a little faster than we were before. That works for me, that is awesome. And guys I think that's where I'm going to leave it on this one. On the next one we'll, we'll just go through and just clean a ton of gold. And, uh, yeah, that'll be cool. Looking forward to that, because now we can just start. I mean, we're debt-free. We've got Tier 5 equipment. We're good to go. We can just really just rip this, rip through this dirt over here. If you guys could do me a huge favor and give me a thumbs up, maybe leave a comment. Uh, I really appreciate it. It does help me out a lot growing this small little channel. 
hopefully we can grow together and make it into something pretty awesome. So as guys, as always, I appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.